That was a lecture I was privileged to deliver. I told them that if people of South South are complaining of marginalization, then FCT we are in the process of extinction. Do you know why? A case, a practical example of bias as a state. Population-wise, landmarks-wise, FCT is more populated than Bayelsa. But Bayelsa have three senators representing them. And they have, I think, six or nine House of Representatives. But what about FCT? We have only one senator, and we have two House of Representatives. And same Bayelsa and other parts of South South are complaining of marginalization. Then ours, we are just in the process of extinction. That's one. Bayelsa still have a minister. That means Bayelsa and other states that constitute South South, that are complaining, agitating for liberations or what have you, they are duly represented in the federal cabinet. Every fake meeting, they are appropriately and adequately represented, politically and otherwise. But what about FCT? Number two, this same set of people who have so many local government where grassroots politicians can contest and represent their people. But what about FCT? So what basically I was saying then is if other people like South South are complaining of marginalization, then FCT we are in the process of extinctions. This is because one, we don't have minister from FCT. And the ministers that have been appointed over time, they don't even know the plight of the FCT on the practical terms. And that's why you see that even appointments, we are not even regarded. That's why even political inclusiveness, our views, our aspirations, our ideas are not even put into considerations. For example, the mandate secretaries. We don't have a state. We don't have a ministers. We only have senator. We only have two house of representatives. Even the commissioners in federal capital territory are not exclusively given to us. So what basically are we talking about? In fact, the question we keep asking is, are we part of Nigerians? Are we even Nigerians in the first instances? We are not. We are not Nigerians. And even uh, we, we thought, in, on a political basis now, we thought that APC is coming to eliminate the problem of FCTs. But there wasn't the situations. That's just a fact. There wasn't the situations. Our present administration have total disconnections with the plight of the FCT people. We expected that President Muhammad Buhari will give us a minister from FCT, not necessarily representing FCT, but we should be duly represented in the federal executive meetings. But we don't have it. Do you know why? In 2015, when we had elections, FCT, APC as a party, we don't have ministers, we don't have appointees from FCT, but APC gave, uh, FCT gave APC 47.3%. That was a golden opportunity for us to get a ministerial appointment. But we never had it. What they keep telling you is that we have a constitutional lacuna. What do you mean by constitutional lacuna? Who are those having the constitution? Is the constitution meant for ghosts or beasts? It's meant for human beings. If other sectors, if other departments, if other sections of the constitution can be amended, what stopped it from being amended? That's one. And even if he said we have constitutional lacuna, we have this zonal geopolitical zones ministerial slot. We can. We, of course, we are part of North Central. We shall have been considered for one, but they never considered us for anyone. And today, of course, we can see the abysmal performance of the party in power. This are uh, because of so many agitations that they, they don't even want to hear about it. Apart from that, what we are seeing is if we really want people to be politically you know, inclined, to participate politically, FCT need more creations, more creations of local government. For example, if you come to Kuji Area Council, we have Rubochi Development Area. It can be made area councils. We have Karshi, it can be made area councils. We have Yaba, we can make it area councils. Then it's going to discongest the political agitations within ourselves. We have only two houses of reps. Somebody like me now, people will tell you, you have to go and join the queue. 
because so many people before you are even born, they have labored politically and they need to be compensated. So therefore, it's causing a whole lot of confusion in FCT. It's causing a whole lot of, you know, political exclusiveness in FCT. So not only ministerial appointment, we need more creations of local government. We need two additional senatorial seats to be given so that people can contest. And apart from that, even House of Representatives, are sh we are shortchanged. Look, my, young, my, my, my brother, we are not only talking about politically. When it comes to appointment, we are not even captured. When it comes to appointment, okay, look at FCT Inland Revenue. They recently recruited how many indigents were given that slot. All in the name of FCT is meant for all. And somebody can contest in his own state and come back comfortably and also contest in FCT. And when they come to uh, appoint commissioners, you are not even put into considerations. So what are we talking about basically? We are not part of Nigerians as far as this arrangement is concerned. And that's why FCT people need to be united and speak for themselves, regardless of political party, regardless of tribalism, regardless of religion, or regardless of whether you come from Abuja North or Abuja South. Collective bargaining is found to be more rewarding in a socio-economic and political you know, crusade, uh, movement than a single man crusade. So we need to come together and fight as a united force before we get what we want. Of course, the recent display of National Assembly, uh, it, it calls for concerns.